Most worshipful brother, Horace S. Roberts, is what we refer to as the Civil War Grand Master, primarily because he was the sitting Grand Master at the beginning of the Civil War, and he had ended up losing his life during the Civil War. During the year of his term, he only served like those first four months from January to April. Right, and then he was real busy. And then he was real busy. So then when you see other documents that are in the archives of the Grand Lodge of Michigan here at the museum and library, almost um, all of the remaining documents and decisions were done by the deputy Grand Masters. The annual communication in which Horace Roberts would have presided over as Grand Master was presided over by the deputy Grand Master at the time. Okay. And really all he said was um, the Grand Master apologizes for his absence that he's currently out of state, which is a nice way of saying currently dodging bullets. Right. So Horace Roberts, a great Freemason, a very important leader within our fraternity, especially in the Grand Lodge of Michigan, and the youngest Grand Master to ever serve in that position in the Grand Lodge of Michigan, and he served at the age of 33. Amazing. Amazing. He was killed at 34. Bummer.